Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? It should be so simple. When we grind for a badge, when we get one to gold or hall of fame, there should be no chance that we have to worry about losing the badge, but that is the reality of NBA 2K24. But there is a way to stop this. If you go to your badge perks, you see you have Overdrive, Immunity, Drill, Savant, and Scholar. Immunity is going to keep badges from losing progress. And from my experience, if you put a badge in here, if you get it to Hall of Fame, if you get it to gold, it's pretty much never going to go back down. And as long as you use the badge a couple of times a game, it's going to go up. Now, Overdrive is going to make you gain badge progress faster. That's not exactly not losing the badge, but if you're gaining it at a faster rate, it will be that much harder to lose the badge with Scholar. As long as you get a high teammate grade, those badges are going to go up faster than normal so it's gonna be tougher to lose them and then drill savvy it's not quite at the level of these other three pretty much if you do a drill you focus on a badge you want to increase the drill savvy is gonna make that badge get an extra boost to increase in it a lot of people know about the badge perks but it's kind of just one of those things everybody's putting it on the back burner not a lot of people are worrying too much about it but get these so you're not losing badges so you're getting badges faster they're pretty easy to do you just go talk to a couple of people in the park and then they're gonna tell you, you need to play this many prime games or this many red games or this many park games you get to choose after you do it you go talk to them again they give you the next level and not counting the drill and once you have 12 badges equipped you're going to find that it's a lot easier to manage having a bunch of hall of fame badges compared to gold badges check out this gameplay i have to finish out the video laker ended up having to leave the room so i'm trying to hold the ball as long as i can to give him some time to get back they end up double teaming me but it does not matter i'm still able to get a post hop shot now all we got to do is try to hold it down with two defenders they end up taking a wide open quarter three instead of a layup we are living with that shot in this game where everybody is shooting 50 and i mean that literally everybody is actually shooting 50 i haven't really seen too many people with the 60 percent from three he's back we're able to get a super hot start kitchen with the fave missing it the laker down there for the o board i'm getting the wide open midi toes on the line and it is green you guys are gonna see some pretty crazy shots some pretty interesting shots in this game but before that you're going to see this defensive possession we are out here with the super size lineup we got laker as a six foot eight pure slasher defensive build and me and kitchen are both on six foot eleven stretch bigs there is no small guard to backdoor if you've played nba 2k24 you guys know people calling backdoors on small players to bully them for a two-pointer is sometimes the only way teams score and it is tough to defend because if you're trying to switch you know if somebody's cutting from the corner you got a person up top and a person in the other corner you're gonna have to be very quickly you're gonna have to be very on point and sometimes you're either choosing between an open two or an open three but not in this situation we are all tall we can all guard ball we can all play center we can all rebound we can all run the fast break we can all dunk we can all well we can't all shoot laker can't shoot but i mean he can get contact dunk so it ends up working out unfortunately misses that one and they are ready to capitalize check this out they end up getting an open top of the key three to put the score six to six the pressure is on we're letting laker take up the ball their guard is playing him pretty well though at this point he's going to dot me right here he jumps i wait for him then i shoot this that looked contested i bet and it was it was a 19 it was a yellow a nice little speed up but i'm telling you guys and i've showed some clips if you can learn the timing of that speed up you can actually green those shots this year now the green window and i'm gonna say this too People are saying it's easier to shoot in this game. It's harder to shoot in this game. You know, people are showing clips of them. It only a takeover. I will tell you how it is. It is harder to shoot in this game. It's actually harder to hit the green window every single time. It's the way 2K changed the shooting. The intention is for people to shoot 30%, 40%, 50% from three. They're not trying to see people shoot 70 and 80%. Now, it is still possible, but there's just not a lot of people doing it. And that's what I'm saying. You can time these yellows, you can time these speed ups, but it's going to be very tough. There is no room for error. This man ends up kind of shuffling around, getting a layup and one. He doesn't even green it and it goes in. 
I believe that's because he didn't have layup timing on. I don't think it's possible to hit that otherwise. And just wait, I got some crazy and one clips to show you where I'm getting fouled after an up and under into the and one layup, falling to the ground and there. Green Kitchen with the ball right here. Ends up dotting Laker. Laker's gonna dot me. Who are they forgetting about? I have not missed a shot yet. No way you're leaving me open in that situation to get a three to put us up three. That is an absolute dagger to the heart for them. I'm sure Lakers getting bumpy with him. He's trying to run away, put him in an ISO. This is not the lineup to try to ISO. This is not the lineup to try to set screens against because we're just gonna be able to switch it. There's nothing you can really do in this situation. He tries to go for a back door. I'm getting bumpy on it. Hits us with the post fade. I respect it. That is pretty impressive. I pop shark takeover. They're not able to get a shot up though. Now I'm going to just run it straight down into a hezzy. This is a 6 foot 11 stretch big, by the way. The 70 ball handle moving like that. Now, honestly, I passed the ball way too soon. I should have just kept it in my hands. I should have cooked up for a three. I have nine points in this game, so I was trying to just get some more people involved. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like you see right there, we set an off ball for Kitchen to get open. Sometimes it's your game to score, and when that happens, you just got to embrace it. You just got to be a bit of a ball hog, and you got to carry. Other games, everyone else is cooking. You don't have to do much. You just have to be ready to embrace whatever it is. You see, I bump them a bit right there with that silver and movable enforcer. The badge that is better than clamps this year. I'm telling you guys, if you want to make a lockdown build, make it with enough strength to get Hall of Fame immovable enforcer. You're going to miss out on a little bit. You know, you're not going to be able to have crazy speed. You're not going to have 99 perimeter defense, but that badge by itself is so great. It's so bumpy. I mean, people can't even make it up the court with you just hip checking them the whole way up. I mean, I'm getting kind of Got a big body in this guy right here, and this build is not a lock. It's a stretch big. I only have bronze challenger, no clamps. That silver immovable enforcer is really all I got for the perimeter defense. And I'm telling you, that is all you need to hang with people this year. Check this out. I step off the corner just a bit. A big mistake. This is not NBA 2K23. You cannot give them that much space and think that they're not going to be wide open. Once again, going to the hezzy, into the step back right here, going into the post. Playing with my food a little bit. Shooting another contested yellow post hop shot. I am in my bag, but the game's not over yet. I want to get one more shot on these guys before it ends. And speaking of the game ending, that was a three-pointer that they absolutely needed. You can see I get the board. I give it to Laker to run it down. He dots Kitchen. Kitchen dots him back. He dots me. I'm running left. Jokic hop jumper into the wide open midi. And that is the ball game, man. Let me know if this video helps you guys out. If you guys do want to drop a like and subscribe. Of course, you know, I appreciate it a ton. I'm always saying it, but it is the truth. I love doing YouTube. I love posting these videos. I like interacting with you guys. And this is Tonic, man. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.